Less than a day now until the election, anxiety is setting in for many across this country, regardless if you're a political party. Jordan James explores the stress and how experts say you should cope. As the clock ticks down, everyone's definitely pretty anxious. Tensions are running high. I'm seeing families, um, you know, separated, and that's not what America's about. We were born for such a time as this. Sparking uncertainty among voters. I think people are kind of scared to talk about it a whole lot because of that division that's coming out of this election. It's a reality that psychologists say is not uncommon, especially during these times. The human brain doesn't like uncertainty. We like information, it's a problem solving machine, and there's a ton of uncertainty around the election. To get me, somebody would have to shoot through the fake news, <laughs> and I don't mind that. In a survey conducted by the American Psychological Association, nearly 80% of the people admitted that the future of the nation causes them stress. They also found that the concerns are shared equally among Democrats and Republicans. That's just um, a, a battle. This is America, and we're going to we have our ups and our downs. While voters like Mary Hampton are optimistic, she encourages others to not let the election get the best of them. After you vote, Guys, go do something that you like, you know? Go do something fun. Go get a cup of coffee or, or go do some crafts or, or just go take a walk or whoever you talk to. Try to have a conversation without tearing each other to pieces. Advice that even the experts agree can go a long way. First and foremost is recognizing things within your control. Reporting in Nashville, Jordan James, WSMB4.